Stinky floss, two reasons your breath smells like poo. If your floss smells after flossing, then you must know that people that you've been talking to throughout the day have been smelling that same awful smell as well. It's also likely that your tongue has the same terrifying odor. I know this because the first time I scraped my tongue, I decided to smell it. Feces came to mind. So I do know what you were going through, and there could be a couple of different reasons you were constantly being exposed to this smell when you were flossing. So please pay attention and read on to potentially find a fix for this problem. Reason number one, bad bacteria. The bad breath that emulates from the floss after you've scrubbed in between the teeth is due to bacteria releasing volatile sulfur compounds. Even worse is the fact that there are a couple of these volatile sulfur-releasing bacteria. Centipedia periodonti. This is a gram-negative anaerobic bacteria that is motile and looks slightly like a centipede in its shape, hence the name. It produces hydrogen sulfur compounds which give off a rotten egg smell. Porphyromonas gingivalis. This is another bacteria which harms not only your teeth and gums, but also creates an environment where bad smells can flourish. This bacteria releases a compound called methyl mercoptin, which smells like rotting cabbage. I don't know about you, but mixing rotting eggs with rotting cabbage is not a good idea at all. I would not be surprised at all if you mixed these together and it smelled like poop or a rotting corpse. Reason number two, food particles. When we eat, some of the small chewed up food waste gets stuck in between teeth. Most of us tend not to clean our mouths thoroughly after a big meal, which means the food is left in these tight spaces to rot. I've noticed on many occasions that when I floss my teeth, a good chunk of white gunk is attached to the floss, and it smells foul. What's worse is the fact that the bacteria living under the gum area are eating these food particles and releasing the foul-smelling compounds. It's a never-ending vicious cycle. Another important note... Flossing allows you to go up to 2 millimeters under the gum tissue to reach the area where the bacteria are colonizing. When you floss, you are always going to be catching bacteria, and this is why your floss will smell most of the time. So, what's the solution? You need to get rid of the bacteria which are hiding under the gums. It's the only way you will be able to fix this problem. We suggest you use an antimicrobial liquid that will seep down into the gum lines. This will directly make contact with the bad bacteria and eliminate them. Essential oils contain antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties, which makes them great for destroying foreign organisms, and best of all, they have a nice minty taste to them, which will help freshen up your breath. I don't know if you've come across the Bass toothbrushing technique, but basically it's a specially designed brush that is capable of wiggling in between the teeth and into the gum line area. This is important because you want to get the antimicrobial solution under the gum lines to reach those smell-causing bacteria to eliminate them. Normal toothbrushes have far too many bristles and cannot wiggle down the gum line to dislodge the bacteria, and the ends of the bristles are pointy, which irritates the gums. The Bass toothbrush, on the other hand, has much fewer bristles than your average brush, which helps it reach those awkward crevices in and around the teeth, including the gum line. The other feature of the Bass toothbrush is the bristle tips are rounded, polished, and smooth. This stops it from scraping on the gums and causing unnecessary trauma. Which oil to use? There are many different products on the market, but honestly, all you need is tea tree oil. It's powerful, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and antiseptic properties make it potent. Add three drops onto the Bass toothbrush and start brushing your gums at a 45 degree angle using small micro vibrating motions rather than the scrubbing motion. Do this twice per day and after a couple of weeks, you should notice a big change in your breath and gum health. That's it for today, but if you want to know more about the Bass toothbrush method or essential oils, please check out the links in the description box below. Before you go, please subscribe, share, and comment. Take care and we'll see you next week.